Sweet Dreams Sugar Production in East Florida. Welcome to Beulahville. This is the plantation that Charles Bulo purchased and began to develop in 1821. Not much is left now, but between 1823 and 1836, the Seminole Indians burned the plantation. Beulahville was the biggest plantation in Florida. And it's also still has a lot remaining to it of all the plantations I visited in East Florida. And I pretty much get my YouTube name, channel name, from these plantations because back then they called this East Florida. Look at this place. Massive. At one time, imagine the work going on here producing sugar. Let's take a walk through this old plantation. And right here is the well. The well supplied water for the boiler that produced steam to operate the mill's cane crushing machinery. Place is made out of solid coquina rock. Still has burn marks. Right here, one of the coolest parts of this plantation. It's this badge up there that says Beulahville. In this area would be the boiler and machinery room. The sawmill was 18 feet beyond this sign. Here's another well right here. It says exact use unknown.
nice sidewalks here that go around too. Check this tree out. That's wild. That is something right there. Look at the base of that thing. And it's an old oak tree. This goes up, but it looks like it was two that split. Wow. That is cool. Right here on the back side of the plantation now. And this sign says cane juice. Riding the Jamaica train. Getting sugar out of the sugar cane was very hard work. Not only did the slaves have to cut the cane exactly when it was mature, they had to crush it and boil the juice as soon as possible in order to get the most and best sugar out of the crop. Definitely was one big operation. The curing room, perjury. beyond the plantation from the field to the market the last step producing sugar involved getting it ready to ship to the north market and loading rooms.